I am in no way, shape, or form claiming this is the best in the Philippines, but this is the best bow piece I've ever had. What I love about it is the spiciness of it, right? I've never had bow piece that was spicy, really. This has a nice little burn that lays on your mouth. Oh, wow. What's up, everybody? This week, we are back to our typical street food, cat and daddy type places. And I'm doing one that is extremely famous here in the Manila area. I'm over in Makati right now. And that is this right here. This is Ali Sosings. It is extremely well known around here. I just fell off the curb. Let's check this place out. Hello. Hi. What all do we have? Uh, this one sir is pinakbet, bopis, uh, ginisang upo, patatim, chicken curry, pork steak, uh, ginatang ipon, pinakdakan, uh, ginisang taho, mundo, kaldretang baka, okoy, uh, sweet and sour maya maya, adobong baboy, uh, Pagyo beans, igado, chili con carne, and ginatang puso, and the Google Express, and grilled tilapia. Grilled tilapia. And grilled sweet and pork skewers. And then the grilled pork bellies. And the yep, all happening yeah. over there. What do you recommend? Uh, also the beef. Beef soup? Yeah. Uh, is it, what is it, is it bulalo? Or? Yeah. Bulalo? Yeah. This is one of the best sellers. I am going to be so full here. What do you recommend? What's your favorite? This one, sir. Bulalo? Yeah, and the pork belly. Liempo? Yeah. Okay, let's do a bulalo. Let's do a liempo. I want the bopis. Yeah. Uh, I want the nap Okay, sir. Vegetable, sir. This one is good. This one's good? Yeah. What, what, which, what did you say this was called? Gilisang uh, upo. Upo, okay. Is that uh is this made from um, bitter gourd? Yeah. Bitter gourd? Yeah, let's try it. As you guys know, this place is famous. Mark Weens is probably who made this place as famous as it is, but is extremely popular among locals. It's 10:30 a.m. The place is already packed up. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to find a place to sit. We're gonna give it a shot. You guys kinda heard. I've ordered uh, some riempo, I've got a bulalo, I've got some bopis, I've got uh, dinak dakan, and I have a vegetable dish that I don't remember what the name is, but I'm gonna find out for you. That's it there. Uh, it's with bitter gourd. It's made with bitter gourd, if what they're telling me. But let's get a little bit of sauce mixed up. He has no, that's not going to be enough chili for me, right? Alright, so what I've got is just a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of vinegar, uh, chilies, calamansi. Then the first thing I've got to do here, a couple of things that I want to try. I think right here says pork belly. Look at that big fatty bit right on the edge of that there. Go right down into our little sauce. Oh, wow, a little bit of spice. The liempo is awesome. There's that perfect amount of fatty ratio. It's perfectly grilled. So if you're not from the Philippines, you don't know what liempo is. It's a grilled pork belly. It's a marinated and grilled pork belly. The place is bustling all around me here. I'm like, I'm in a little corner back by myself back here. Back here in the little kitchen portion here. Because every table out front is completely full. The one thing you gotta try here. I want a piece of beef off of the burrito. 
All right, we got two pieces of the beef. So one, we're gonna go just straight beef. I just wanna see how good this is. Oh, wow. Feeling I really don't have enough food here. I think I need to order some more. And that grilled tilapia might be the way to go. It is perfectly full in your mouth tender. And that's kind of what I love about Filipino food. I know since I've gotten back to Manila, I've done more sit-down type of establishments. But outside of a home-cooked meal, I think, here in the Philippines, if you really want to feel the heart of Filipino food, you have to come to the Carandarias. You have to come to places like this. This is where you're going to find it all. All of these traditional tree foods that you're not going to find anywhere else outside of somebody's home, this is where you really find the heart of Filipino food. One more piece of that lamp. The Liempo here is superb. As I said earlier, Mark Weems is probably the one that really went all out. I'm far from being the first person to attempt to film here. Uh, but it's extremely popular and for a year plus of time I've spent in the Philippines, I've avoided this place for a very long time just because of how popular it is. Huge mistake on my part. Like the food's fantastic. Upo. And it's with bitter gourd. Whatever you're cooking this in. Slightly sour. And you guys know that if I have one criticism of anything in the Philippines, it's that to me, there's a lack of really good vegetable dishes. I think I just found another one though that I really like. You hear that? Still a nice crunch to the vegetables. It's not overcooked. Flavors of this is fantastic. Pupo. I've never had this before. That's fantastic. Get a little bit of this broth from the bowl. I get some of the greens out of it. I get a little bit of this tour off of here. Wow. Yeah. Looking for a bite side. There we go. We get a little bit of the rice, some of the green. Oh, Huge mistake on my part. I'm not coming here soon enough. Oh, mom. We're just making it all in here now. Lampo. Oh, well, now you guys know, I had this for the first time, I don't right about a year ago now. Uh, and I instantly fell in love with it. And I order it everywhere I go. At this point now, the only thing I'm avoiding is the basil leaf there. But this is Bopis. And what Bopis is, is minced pork heart and lungs. Um, it's got a great flavor to it. There's a lot of annatto seeds that are a uh, sweat uh, that's happening when they make this down. But let's just check it. Awesome. Oh my god. There's a beautiful spiciness to it. Beautiful flavor overall to it. Without question, right now, all right, right now. I am in no way, shape, or form claiming this is the best in the Philippines, but this is the best bow piece I've ever had. It's awesome. What I love about it is the spiciness of it, right? I've never had bow piece. That was spicy, really. A little bit of heat to them, but like this has a nice little burn that lays on your mouth. Awesome. Oh, my. Wait, hang on, what can I Unbelievably delicious. Wow. We still got another dish to try here for you, but I'm really digging the lupa right now. Now, it's bitter gourd, but it's not, doesn't taste like bitter gourd at all. It's really good. Let's give this one a shot here. Now, I did ask them about this one here. Uh, it is it did not come, but it does not contain pig pigments, uh, which is normally 
what is used to give it that creamier texture. So it is a little drier looking. Okay. Uh, it's pork liver. I'm sure there's going to be jowl in here. There's going to be some ear in here. Let's just see right on its own. All right. Olive oil. There's definitely ear in there. There's the knock duck on. Has a beautiful smoky flavor to it. I don't know what they're doing. Normally it's just maybe they're grilling everything here. But most the knock duck on I've had, uh, it's been either like a stir fried or just like roasted or steamed or something like that. Like this, it, it tastes like everything is literally grilled on this. I mean, it's got a great flavor to it. You're getting the chewy bits in there because there are ears in there. There's some liver in there. It's still delicious. I've just never had it that didn't have pig brains. Still fantastic. But I know how to make this even better. Grab ourselves a little bit of the knock back on and then we chase it with the chilies. That's it. Nice. <laughs> we are beginning to wind everything down here. I'm gonna order more stuff. You take it home to him. <laughs> oh, that is not that is fantastic. I always love the atmosphere of a Ken and Daddy too. Um, you would think that you would be completely out of place, but I think everybody knows like Filipinos are the nicest people you're gonna meet anywhere on the face of the planet. I, I don't think anybody can dispute that. I think those things totally on me for taking a year to get to this place because the food is fantastic the atmosphere is unbelievable it's still super packed right now after eating all that food but quickly let's run down the bill here uh liempo 150 uh bopis 100 bulolo 150 the nut duck on 100 uh upo was 40 rice was 30 i got two of those i'm taking one home to him uh and then bottled water you know what? She undercharged me here. Where's she at? You didn't add the tilapia on there. Ah, uh, this one, sir. Oh, I didn't see it there. She did add it on there. 150, because I'm taking a big piece of the uh, grilled tilapia. Home to M. So she has some total for everything here. 750 pesos. Like, where are you going anywhere and getting that much food for 750 pesos? US dollars, there it is. It's right there. You can find it for yourself. That's it for this video here. You guys be sure to tune in next week. See what else we get up to.